Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you all know, I have already published six YouTube videos on advanced concept of Tosca Automation Engineer Level 1. So this is our continuation session. So stay tuned. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. Okay, so this is our lesson 7 on automation engineer level 1 concepts. So, I have published my lesson 6 recently to cover the topic related to steering an excel sheet by using Tosca. So, in that particular video session, I have covered how can you verify the values which are stored in your excel sheet by using Tosca. So, I would recommend you guys to please do visit that particular video before you watch this session. It helps you to understand very well. Okay. So, in this session, I am going to teach you how can you modify or change the values or how can you modify and change the different values which are stored in your local drive under excel sheet. So basically we are driving the excel sheet modifying the values of your excel sheet by using Tosca tool. Okay. So that is our agenda item. Okay. So let's move on to our practical session. How can we perform the change or modification by using Tosca tool. Okay. Okay. So for today's session, our uh, basically our second agenda item, right, is change modify values in Excel sheet. So basically, how can we change or modify the values that are stored in your Excel sheet? Okay. So if you are using the test data in excel sheet you can basically change or modify or if you want to publish the results you can change or modify your results in excel sheet okay so let me for that let me just show what is my excel sheet that i'm gonna work on so the excel sheet what i'm working here is stored under tosca youtube trainings excel steering okay under excel sheet workbook called products so if i open the workbook you can see that the worksheet name also showing as products okay you need to remember the worksheet name and the workbook name and if you see these are all the records 12 records with 80 80 columns i have in the excel sheet so now what should i do i would like to change the value of my 14 inch laptop the quantity so let's say the quantity of my so if you see the stock quantity right the stock quantity is showing us 500 now i would like to modify the stock quantity to 5000 for example okay so that's our aim okay for that so now that means the column stock quantity for the laptop 14 point one inch should be changed from 500 to 5000 okay the quantity okay that's our scenario so how can we perform that by using tosca so for that let's go to tosca okay and this is my test case called modify values okay so this is my one of the test case and to automate the process whatever i explained you First, we need to open the workbook, correct, which is located in this particular path. So the workbook opening. So there is a standard module provided by Tosca. So I want to add a test step by using an existing standard module called Excel Open Workbook. Okay. So I just added what is my workbook. So I have to enter the path of my workbook. And then I have to enter the 
name of the workbook okay path and the name xlsx okay so i have specified the path and the workbook name and what is my workbook id so the workbook id is products that means what is the workbook name which is a products right and do you want to open the workbook in read only no so that's the reason i want to make it as false create a new workbook no it's not a new workbook we are creating but we are using the existing workbook so i'm keeping it as false so once you open the workbook first you need to set the active workbook and also you need to set the active sheet so generally in selenium also we generally set up the active workbook right and then you are going to set up the active sheet right in the same way first to add go to add test step and then excel set active workbook this is one standard module provided by tasca okay and what is my workbook id just now i specified the workbook id here in the local system which is products so now i am setting that workbook as an active workbook and then after that i need to set up an active worksheet so for that again you add a test step excel set active worksheet and here what is your worksheet id so if i told you in the workbook you can see that the workbook id is products if sorry worksheet id so this is the products copy and then paste your workbook id here and do you want to create a new workbook no i am using existing workbook okay so select it as false so now you set the worksheet active worksheet now what is our next test step that we need to add so you have to define the excel range where you need to create the excel range what is our range our range is from row 1 to row 12 and column 1 to column 80 80 right there are total 80 columns right so i have to create a range so to create a range we have a standard module called excel create range excel create range so once what is our range id so this one you can define whatever see this entire range i am defining it as product table okay i can define this as product table so that i can use the same range id throughout the test case okay what is my start cell row my first cell cell row is number 1 correct so it's one first cell row and what is my start cell column my first column is number 1 so this is my start column and what is my end cell row my end cell row is 12 correct so you specify it as number 12 what is my end cell column so the column here if you see these are all the columns is my 80 if you see this is my 80 okay so column 80 so let me specify that as column 80 okay so now i have created an excel range and i defined the range id as product table and i defined the range what is the range that you have to work on okay so i created a range once i create the range we need to activate the range okay so for that just right click and you need to add a step excel set up excel set active range excel set active range and you need to provide the range id 
So I already defined the created the range ID called product table. So now I can reuse that. I need not to define enter range here. Okay. I can simply provide the range ID. So once you create the range ID, you need to set the header because in the Excel sheet, I have a header. See the test data is from call uh, row 2 to 12, but the first row is not a test data. It's a header. So I need to set the header. So for that, you need to add a test step called Excel set header. Okay. Add test step Excel set header. So here, what is my start cell row? My cell row is one. So my first row is header. That's what I'm specifying here. Okay. So once you are done with setting up the header, now you need to perform the modification, right? Where the intersection of your first row with the cell quantity, right? Stock quantity. So for that, we are going to add a new test step again to the same test case. Add test step Excel range manipulation. If you see, we have a test step called Excel range manipulation. So as soon as you enter the Excel range manipulation here, what is the action that I need to select? I am not verifying. So I need not to specify the action mode as verify here. I am actually modifying the data and hence I need to select the action mode as input. So in the earlier session, we have seen how to verify the data, right? That's the reason we selected action mode as verify. But in this session, we need to select the action mode as input. So as soon as you select the action mode as input, you should see four additional columns that are added. Okay. What is my column name? The column name is, if you see, I'm actually modifying the stock quantity, correct? So the stock quantity is my column and what is the row? So if you see the row is, I'm modifying the data for 14.1 inch laptop, correct? So you can specify the row here, 14.1 inch laptop. So intersection of these two should be what? It should be changed to 5000, not 500, right? Let's see, here we have a 500. So now I want to input as 5000. Okay. So I entered 5000. Done. So here let's rename this as modify Excel value. Okay. I'm renaming the step. So once that is done, now I have to close the workbook, right? And I have to save the also. Okay. So let's add a new step here. Add step Excel close workbook. So while closing the workbook, what is your workbook ID? It's a products anyway. Products. That is our workbook ID. Now, do you want to save the workbook? Yes, I want to save the workbook. Because I have made some modifications to workbook. Now I would like to save the workbook. Okay. Okay. Now let me close this workbook. Let's remove these coloring color codings. Okay. Let's keep the color coding here. Okay. Close this. So now let me. So now what we did first, we opened a workbook right and then we added test step to set the active workbook and then i have added the test step to set the active worksheet and then once i activated the worksheet i have created a range once i create the range i am setting that particular range whatever i defined as an active range and then i am also setting up the header because header is not test data. It's a column names. And now what I'm doing, I'm performing modification by using Excel 
range manipulation right and then i'm closing the workbook while closing i'm saving the workbook right so let's run this particular test case in scratch book okay run so as soon as i run now at the back end it should open your excel sheet right and then it should search for the intersection of your 14.1 inch laptop and also the column called quantity stock right stock quantity and then it should update the value to 5000 from 500 okay so let's wait for a response okay so you should receive a message saying the execution completed okay so i think yes the execution is completed just click on ok and now you see here all the test steps are passed correct okay let's go back to our excel sheet and see if the value got changed or not okay open this see here it's got changed 5000 okay so let me do one thing let me change some to something else now again okay let's close this close this and then let me so that it it is very evident that we change it to something else okay let me change it to 12546 okay 1 2 3 4 6 okay 5430 okay 54321 okay let's save this and now let's run this again and see what happens okay run this run in scratch book and now again it's gonna open the workbook from the back end and then it should basically look for the intersection of your quantity stock and 14.1 inch laptop and then it should change the value to the new value 54321 okay let's see it's still executing so once the execution is completed we should receive a message called execution completed so it's taking some time okay execution completed now let's open this okay now again if you see all the test tips are passed pass 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 right now let's go back to our test sheet and then open it and you should see the value should be changed to 54321 okay so hope you all understand the concept how can you manipulate or how can you modify or change the values of your excel sheet okay so we have around five to six test steps that you need to insert to perform the modifications okay so if you have any questions please leave comments in the comment box i'm going to reply to your queries hope you all understand the concepts of today's session please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts and don't forget to like and share the video thank you